Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from Mobox, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to get this kaleidoscope effect in After Effects. Now, once you see the effects, you'll see that it's pretty easy. You just need to use the kaleidoscope effect. But I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how I got um, this one to look, in my opinion, as good as it looked. Um, but I'd also like to let you know that this was kind of inspired by the Mount Mograph video where he talked about doing like kind of the infinite fractals. And once I saw that, I was like, man, this has to be able to be done in After Effects with the, with the actual tools because there's so many sort of like stylized replicating options in After Effects. And then I recalled back when I saw an Erica Anderson video where she um, used a tool called Collida and that effect... Um, you know, kind of when you manipulate it in a way, it gives you something that looks like this. So anyways, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into After Effects here. And you can see this is our example here. This is what we're gonna be trying to emulate. And, um, but before we get started, I just wanna let you know that I, I actually used this image here. So this is from this artist who I'm not even gonna attempt to, to say his name because um, I'll probably butcher it, but definitely go check out his Instagram account. He posted this photo on a website called unsplash.com. And if you don't know about Unsplash, you could download whatever you want. Um, and the license is kind of uh, irrevocable, non-exclusive worldwide copyright um, license to download, but it's not exclusive so anyone could use it. So uh, this is the image that I'm starting out with. This is the base. So I went ahead and downloaded this image and um, jumped into After Effects here. So uh, let's create a new composition. And I'm going to make it a square composition, uh, maybe 2000 by 2000. And 23.976 is fine. 10 seconds is fine. And I'm just going to hit OK. And I'm going to drag this image in. So I already had the image downloaded. And so this is going to be the base of our um, kind of kaleidoscope effect. Now, the base image will directly impact how it looks in the end. Um, so you know, feel free to mess around and, and test different things that you like. But I'm gonna add some effects to this because right now if I do the kaleidoscope, I'm gonna get something that looks kind of crazy. So um, the first effect that I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a, let's see, a brightness. Drag that on. And I'm going to just crank up the contrast like crazy and maybe even bring down the brightness a little bit. Um, or maybe increase the brightness and then, yeah, crank up the contrast. So make it nice and crunchy. And then I'm gonna add black and white. So now I'm gonna basically turn it into um, just kind of a black and white image. And I'm gonna crank up all the colors until I get a real crunchy, contrasty image. Um, so I don't wanna increase anything that increases the black level um, too much. So now we have something that looks kind of like this. So um, that's gonna be our basis for the effect. Now, um, I'm going to move the anchor point here by just selecting Y or choosing the pan behind tool. And I'm going to drag the anchor point just so slightly upwards. And I might even drag the image up as well because the kaleidoscope effect kind of looks at just the center here. So I'm going to add a rotation by hitting R on the keyboard and I'm going to rotate it maybe a little bit this way, maybe like 12 degrees that way. Go to five seconds because that's right in the middle. Set this to um, zero. Uh, actually, let me let me rephrase that. Um, I'm going to start at zero, so set a keyframe, which I failed to do. And then I'm going to rotate this maybe, I don't know, negative 15 degrees. And then I'm going to go to the very end and just copy my first keyframe. So I'm going from zero to negative 15, back down to zero. So pretty simple stuff here. But basically all I'm doing is I'm just trying to add a little bit of motion to this image um, because that will make the kaleidoscope effect better. So now I'm going to just go composition, new comp, and I'm gonna do it start with 2000 by 2000, but you'll see in a second, I'm gonna probably make it widescreen for the video. So I'm gonna add my comp one in, which is my image. And I'm gonna start adding some effects to this. The first one is going to be CC Collida. So I'm just gonna drag that onto the layer. And now I'm gonna start messing with some of the effects here. So let me just walk through what Collida is. The first is size. So this is kind of the size of the kaleidoscope that you get. Um, there's different mirroring effects, unfold, wheel. I think starfish is probably the best one. Um, die across is kind of interesting, um, but not really what we want. So I'm just gonna use starfish. And I'm gonna change the size maybe to, I don't know, maybe 30 and um, add some rotation here. So maybe like negative 100. 
Now I'm gonna actually duplicate this, Control D. And on the rotation, I'm gonna change this to maybe like 45 and change the size maybe to, I don't know, like 80. So something like that. And when we play this through, we can see that we're starting to get the kaleidoscope effect. Um, now this is pretty crunchy. So let me go back in this image and see if I can't kind of make it a little bit less crunchy. Or more crunchy, but less kind of uh, crazy. I think that looks a little bit better. Um, now I'm just going to add some basic rotation to these. So I'm going to set two keyframes here and press U on the keyboard. Maybe at three seconds, I'm going to turn this one maybe down to like negative 120. Six seconds, maybe turn this one up a little bit. And then go to the very end and just copy my two keyframes. And I'm going to add some smoothing to these. You don't have to, um, but it just makes the effect just a little bit smoother during the transitional. Um, periods and I'm going to use this tool by Mount MoGraph but if you don't have it you can just use the graph editor and make something that looks kind of like this it just kind of smooths out the edges just a little bit so now when I hit play you could see that we have our kaleidoscope effect now since we have two kaleidoscopes on top of each other if you change this base one you get a totally different look um, but like the general feel kind of feels the same because the second kaleidoscope is then multiplying that um, and then also if you change the size you could change it until you get something that looks you know more interesting to you so we're going to stick with something that looks kind of like that and now we're going to add an adjustment layer layer new adjustment layer and I'm going to add something on here called tint. Just drag that on top. And basically what I'm going to say is make the black color black and make anything that's white like a pink. Or since our original was pink, let's say green. We could even say make this instead of black, make it like a really dark green. Um, the next effect I'm just going to add is glow. And I'm just going to bring down the radius. Bring down the intensity. Just so we get kind of some glow, but it's not too crazy. And I'm actually now going to change this composition settings to 2560 by 1440. So that's the resolution of this video. And I'm just going to scale down this layer. And I'm going to add something on this called reptile just drag this on top and I'm just going to expand to the right and expand to the left and I need to grab my adjustment layer and just kind of stretch it out over the two and there you have it so you know if you don't really like the way this looks you could even jump back into this comp and maybe you know move this down and it's going to totally change the way it looks if you, let's say, for example, wanted this, let, let, let's see what it would look like with all the colors. So that actually looks pretty good. I think the coloration actually looks really interesting. And this pattern kind of looks cool too. Um, so anyways, guys, that's basically the Kaleida effect in After Effects. And you could actually do some like really, really interesting things with it. Um, so I, I hope you did learn something new in this video and I hope that, um, you're able to use this effect kind of, you know, in your workflow to develop really cool kind of kaleidoscope slash fractal effects within After Effects. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, check out the project file over on our Patreon account. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.